Are you ready to finally step out of the box, forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive yourself, and end the cycles that have been repeating over and over and over again in your life? Well, if that's the case, then you have tuned into the right video. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. That means I cannot write you a prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. And today is finally the day. Now, we've been talking about ending these cycles for a few days now. It's okay if you just found me on this one. There's a playlist around here that you can click. It'll be here at the end, um, but you can also find it probably in the description box below. And you can start from day one and start doing all the work. You can pick it up right here and come back and do it all over again. It doesn't matter. Today, we are going to go through the very same process that I use with my clients to this day to help them with shadow work. And I approach shadow work or breaking cycles, stepping out of the matrix, whatever you want to call it, I approach it in a very different way. Um, I approach it from this perspective. It's very important to forgive the other person, right? But it is more, if not equally, but more important for you to forgive yourself because we come here incarnated as uh, eternal beings. And so we know this isn't right. We know this isn't right. And because we know it's not right, okay, we then try to do everything that we can as children, young adults, whatever situation we're in, but we're in a bit of a powerless situation. And when we don't have that power, we put all of this stuff back on ourselves. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the work. We're going to, I'm going to take you through some very easy, easy steps um, and easy exercises. All right. So first thing I want you to do is you've identified these cycles. So choose one. Just one. We're not choosing all of them. I want you to choose one cycle that you've already identified what that cycle is, that where the roots, which chakra, the main roots are in, and then any secondary roots in, in whatever chakra, okay? So we have the cycle, we have the chakras that it affects, and now I also want you to really identify how it's affected your entire life. What has it done in your life? Both positive and negative, this might sound super weird, but that cycle keeps repeating itself specifically because it is serving you in some sort of way. So either it's supposed to be protecting you from getting into bad situations, or maybe if you are continuing, let's say, to choose toxic people to be in relationship with, it's actually protecting you from falling in love. It's actually somewhere in some odd, weird sort of way protecting you from falling in love because you really don't feel like you're lovable. It's serving you in some strange way. So I want you to also identify how is it serving you? And then how has it affected you in your life? You know, how many bad relationships, how many bad positions, how many failed attempts at starting a business, all these different things. How has that affected you in your life? And I want you to take note of that and take inventory of that. And when you've done that, then we're going to move on to the next step. The next step is we're going to start meditating. <laughs> or we're going to get into the kind of a meditative state. Okay. So no, you're not going to like completely go into a complete trance. I mean, unless it's what you happen to do. But when I say we're going to get into a med meditative state, that means we're going to kind of shut out the external world. You'll put some really nice kind of music maybe on in the background. Be sure you're in a space that no one's going to be bothering you and that you're not going to get disturbed. That's going to be really, really super important. So I want you to do all of that. And then we're going to sit upright, like on a couch or in a chair Get comfortable, put your blankie on, all that kind of good stuff. And then just start breathing. Just start breathing. Thoughts are going to come to you. Let them come, observe them, let them go. You're going to start breathing, cleansing. You're going to invite your angels and your ancestors, what column of white light, whichever you use for protection around you so you can have like a nice little you know column nice little like spiritual room to work in 
And then we're going to focus in on the chakra. And simultaneously, I want you to see this cycle. I want you to see what this is doing. I want you to see the cycle. I want you to give it a shape. I want you to give it a texture. I want you to give it a color. So you're going to see the cycle and you're going to see it inside that chakra that you're that it's really mainly rooted in. And as you're seeing that, then I want you to see like your higher self, like your adult self, hand your younger self like a box, make it a gold box because we're going to put that in there. And I want you to go back to the first time you can remember somebody making you feel like that or when you can remember this cycle started appearing in your life while you're doing that. Or as you get this gold box, right, I want you to then also envision the person that put this cycle that started the cycle in your life. It's probably going to be one of your one of your parents or something like that. I want you to envision that. And I want you to envision them coming forward, even if they're still here. But that image of them. And then I want you to tell them how this has made you feel. How this cycle has affected you. What has happened as a result of this program being placed in you? All of it. Tell them all of it. Now, if that consciousness wants to speak to you, then let it, but don't expect for it to happen. Because sometimes some of our ancestors or some of our relations or whatever, they put stuff in us and they ain't ready to face it themselves. So don't expect no apologies, honey. This ain't about them. This is about you. Now, you're going to go on and you're going to give, put all that, just, just give it all. And then you're going to take that image, that thing, that cycle, and you're going to put it in the gold box, you're going to close the box, and you're going to hand that box back over to them. You're going to say, thank you, cycle, for providing this, 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 whatever it was. But I've learned all the lessons I need to, and this is not mine. This does not belong to me. And then I want you to hand it to the person that programmed that cycle into your being and tell them, I forgive you. I understand you did the best that you could. I get it that you did the best that you could, but I don't need this anymore. I forgive you. And then let them walk away. And as they walk away, now you have this kind of hole in that chakra. I want you to let everyone, every entity, I want you to let spirit, God, source, I want you to let that be refilled with love. See that area in your being filled with love. And know that now you're empowered. That's a real high level, okay? Because then afterwards, you're going to forgive yourself. And in fact, the act of allowing love to come and fill it is actually you forgiving yourself. Then if you want to cry, you want to shout, you want to scream, whatever the case may be, do whatever it takes. And then come on out, okay? Now that's super high level. We're going to go deeper as to why we're doing that. But those are the steps. Those are the steps. I want you to take each one of them and you don't have to do all this in one day or one week, but that's how we're going to do our work. I love you guys. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you and never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.